Hello family, we're back with another video. And today I decided to do something different. Instead of you guys following us around, I decided that I was gonna give you guys some example of some activities that I do with the boys. Um, it's been really hot, so most of the time we're outside in the yard, they're playing with their water table. We have a pool that we've set up that we enjoy also, but for times when we're not um, using the water table and we're not in the pool, um, I have some activities that we do outside and inside. And I'm gonna kind of give you guys some ideas of things you can do with your kids at home. Um, my kids are three and one. So their attention span is very short. They need to be entertained at all times. So um, I think it's important that you figure out what your kid is into and then um, kind of like work around that. My boys really love water. They really love cars and they really love dinosaurs. And then um, they also like to do things that they use like a lot of household things. So they tend to um, put, get things that are not necessarily toys to play with. Okay. Okay, I'll open it. So I kind of like um, saw what we had around the house or what I can buy and um, just use those as activities. Um, a lot of the things that I bought were from Dollar Tree, which is another um, tip that I have too. Um, since like um, Dollar Tree has like a whole section on um, household like spoons and tongs and stuff like that. They love to use stuff like that. So that's where I usually go and I'll get it. And those are things that, you know, they're not ruining the, of mine that are more expensive. So that's another tip that I have. So I'm gonna insert everything that I bought and kind of like show you guys what I use and how I keep them entertained throughout the day. Um, I also went to Target to their dollar spot and I bought them a lot of educational stuff like flashcards which I'll show you guys and little things just to um, like keep them educated on different things. Um, Liam, we've been working with him on his alphabets and numbers and him writing his name. So that's just what we've been doing. So I, I'll kind of like give you guys some examples of things that I have and then you can kind of see and cater it to your own kid or nephews and nieces if you guys don't have kids. So let's get started. So now for um, the Target Dollar Tree. So this is one of the things that I bought. It's kind of a puzzle with numbers, identifying numbers. Um, and this was $3. Um, these I got from actually Dollar Tree for their car washing bin, sensory bin, and it comes in a pack of four for a dollar. But, um, these are also puzzle pieces that they do to connect build building blocks. They love to build things, and this was three dollars. Okay, wait, okay. Mm -hmm. And this is an alphabet book for Liam. Like I said, we've been going over his um, alphabet. A is for? Apple. Good job. B is for? Ba, ba, bear. C is for? Ka, ka. Cat. Good job. So this is another book that I got, and this was only a dollar. Um, these I got for Carter. Um, Liam already knows all his shapes. Mom, mom that's and for Carter. me. Mom, that's for me and Carter. Yep. Is it one of for everyone oh, to share? Yep, for everyone to share. Carter, that's for the us to and clean the car. Yep, that's to clean the car. So that was a dollar. And mom, then that's I for also $3. got them this balance dinosaur. And this was yeah. a do um, three dollars. And then I got them these puzzles 
that they can make the word. It teaches them words. And those are, um, I think these are like a dollar each. These are a dollar. Okay, give mommy a second, okay? And then we have this one. Which is complete the word. And then I also was able to get them a whole bunch of cards. And then we have each. And then we have um, opposites. Dinosaur because my boys really are into dinosaurs. Animals. Puzzles. Um, and then these were scratch fantastic color and shapes for Liam. And then I got a couple of these bins for the flashcards to keep them together. And that was pretty much it. So I got all of these at the um, education dollar spot. Yeah. So these are some um, activities that I'm going to be doing with Liam primarily. But Carter, I also, everything I do with Liam, Carter's there. So he picks up a lot of things too. But um, I try to have an hour or two a day dedicated to just learning things outside of just fun activities we do. So um, I wanted to stock up on some more educational things. They do have um, more index cards. We also read a lot too. Um, so this is what I have. So like I said, I'll just through, throughout the week, I'll just kind of show you guys the activities that we do. Um, today we did, today we did um, the car wash outside because it's been really hot. Um, they were playing in their sprinkler. And then after they were done with that, after they were done with that, um, I set up the bin for them and they did the car wash which Liam loves the water do you like to play in the water mm -hmm. what's your favorite This particular activity that I decided to do with the boys was a sensory bin. Um, since I mentioned that the boys really love to play with cars, I decided to fill the bin with water and add some Dawn um, dishwashing soap. And I bought, purchased the toothbrushes from the Dollar Tree. And I was able to make all the bubbles and I told them it was a car wash and that they had to scrub and clean all their cars and this was actually very helpful because those cars had been outside in their water table and they had been playing with them in the rocks and they were pretty dirty so this is another trick that i used to get them to clean their toys and wash them so did you like washing the cars today mm -hmm. was it fun Okay, so we're gonna do it again? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Oh, okay, we'll do it tomorrow again, okay? Mm -hmm. All right.
Good job, Carter. Good job, Liam. You're making boo boo traps? No, me, me, me. What are you doing, Carter? You're making a boo boo trap too? Yes, Mom, let's just live in the trap. Will we be boo traps? No! It's okay, make it again. This activity that I decided to do with Liam um, was making little holes um, that they, he can put his pom-poms to help him with counting. Um, Liam's pretty good with counting, but sometimes he'll skip over numbers. So I've been practicing numbers with him over and over again, just so he can get the consistency of what follows which number. And he's doing pretty good. Um, but as any toddler, after a while, he kind of wants to move on to the next activity. So we've been trying to get him to sit down and focus on the activity that we're doing. And then we can move on to the next one. And Carter also always wants to participate. And sometimes I will let him have his turn right after Liam. But he usually only wants to do it for two seconds and he's over it too. But this is a great activity if you want to teach your toddler how to count and just to work on their fine motor skills. Got a package in the mail? Uh huh. I got it in the mail. Wow! wow. It's, my, it's my thing! I believe. <laughs> okay, let's see. not poppy what is that a bee that's a bee silly bee silly bee <laughs> where's poppy is poppy inside the jungle gym no <gasps> is that poppy carter no <gasps> that's not poppy that's not poppy that's a bird carter, what's that Ooh, it's, oh, it's, not bird. it's a bird where's poppy is poppy up in the tree no carter who's in the tree Poppy, that's a squirrel. What's the squirrel doing, Carter? He is eating coconuts. Wow, the squirrel's playing with coconuts. 
But where's Poppy? Is Poppy next to the pond? No, I don't mm. think so. That's not Poppy. Who's that, Carter? A duck. What's that? Silly doggy. What's that, Carter? A duck. duck. What's a duck say? Quack, quack. Silly doggy. I found a... What's a, that? A bee, honey, a bird, a squirrel, and a duck. But I still have not found Poppy. Where's Poppy Carter? I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> Here I am! Yeah. Yeah. Where was Poppy? He was hiding in the sand. He was hiding in the sand. Hi. Carter, did you find Poppy? Yes. Yes? Where was he? Yeah, he, yeah, he was hiding in the sand. Mama, give me the sand. Now, give away. Mommy, is I'm going to put on the floor. Oh, did you like it? So the last activity that I wanted to talk to you guys about are these activity boxes from KiwiCo that the boys received in the mail. Um, Liam gets so excited when the mailman comes and the package is for him and I tell him it has his name on it. He gets super excited that he has mail also like mommy. <laughs> so these activity boxes are very good because it gives them the chance to learn things that I might not have been able to come up with on my own. And this particular day, Liam's boxes was about rainbows and clouds. So um, we were able to make a rainbow on his pillow and then he was able to learn his different colors and then we were able to stuff his pillow and then um, he was able to Velcro it back together. Um, Carter also has a box too and has had different activities about peekaboo but this was around his nap time and he wasn't really too, too excited about doing it after Liam was done with his and he kind of just wanted to play with everything. But usually with Carter, I have to make sure that it's after his naps or as soon as he wakes up that he's very wide awake and able to really get into the activity. But when it's Liam's turn, he always, always wants to do it. But when it comes to his, of course, he wants to go and play. I think he just likes to do everything Liam's doing and just wants to be around his older brother, which is so cute. A pillow. Family is looking at my pillow. Yeah. What's it a pillow of? With a color. It's a cloud. Uh-huh. And all the rainbows. Okay, tell them what, what colors do you have? You have red. Uh-huh. Orange. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Green. Blue. Blue. And purple. Good job. Paula, what colors? Blue. What color is this? Purple. purple. Good job. So we got all the color families. Good job. Say thank you for everything. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.